Today I want to talk to you about one of my favourite things in the world to do, which is reading. Because of my current schedule, I don't get as much time as I want to to read, but a couple of years ago I used to read like three, four books a week and I loved it. I literally had a book in every single room in the house, so I never had to be without something to read. Whereas now, I haven't even finished reading the book club book that I was supposed to read last week. So I'm a member of an online book club on Instagram. Everyone else has read the book. I think some of them are even starting to watch the Netflix series and I'm like, I'm still on part two. <laughs> Please don't ruin it for me. It's a real treat for me now to sit down and take the time to read a book just for fun. So not a self-development book, not a business book, just a piece of fiction that's fun for me. Hi guys, welcome. My name is Nicola and here on this channel, I like to explore ways to be effective and productive, but kind of maintaining really healthy habits that can help me still have fun, not get too stressed and focus on self-care. So if you'd like to join me for today's video, I highly suggest you go grab yourself a cup of tea, maybe a snack, and let's just sit down and get into it. Hang on, um, I just have to go get my tea that's better. So nowadays I don't get as much time to read as what I'd like so I actually tend to make it into like a big deal, a ritual almost. I start off by going and picking the book that I want to read. Do I want something new and fresh and exciting or do I want something that I've already re read? An old friend, like a comfort blanket if you will. So I like to spend a couple of minutes just flicking through my to be read list flicking through my already read books and just picking what I feel like reading that day. To me, this is like the ultimate pleasure in the reading. It's like, what new friends am I going to meet? What old friends am I going to chat with again? I just, I love it. I really, really enjoy it. I do keep trying to break into my to be read pile because, you know, I don't want those books to feel like I'm ignoring them, that I just bought them and threw them in a pile and now have no interest in them. But then on the other hand, I don't want my old favourites to feel that I'm replacing them with something fresh and shiny and new. I know this is not normal. I know this is a strange way to look at books, but I really get attached to my books. Like, decisions are tough. I don't like making decisions. Before Christmas, I actually subscribed to a book, sub well, I subscribed to a book subscription service. So it's called a box of stories. And basically you pick a genre and every three months, if you subscribe, you get sent four random books from that genre, which I love. Personally, I'm a huge fan of like, crime fiction and thrillers and verging right into horror which right now it's not really what I want to be reading I want to read something more positive so for my first box of stories I actually picked historical drama and oh, I am loving it like loving it they are I've got a mixture of like Greek and Roman drama I have some Elizabethan and I have some World War II romantic drama oh it's just it's fantastic Loving it. Highly recommend a box of stories. Once I finally picked my book, it's time to go and sort out snacks. So I love to have my cup of tea with my book and also a snack because, you know, snacks are life, right? So today when I was reading, I made myself some tea. Barry's tea. Got to be Barry's tea. Classic blend in the black box. Honestly, my mother cringes every time she sees me make tea, but... I like it, I drink it, it's fine. I also uh, toasted a hot cross bun. I had a Bramley apple and salted caramel hot cross bun. Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful. And so when I have my snack made, I take that into my armchair and I just set myself up. And then because I want to be totally extra, I've also lit myself like a nice candle so that there's a nice mood. I throw on a nice playlist on Spotify. Like I go all out when I'm reading. And then I sit in my recliner which I generally share with the dog. So I have a golden retriever called Cooper. That recliner is his favorite place in the world to sit and sleep. He's actually able to recline it himself. So it's a bit of a battle when I decide to sit in it. Honestly, if it's wet and windy and raining outside and I can light the fire, I am all for it. There's nothing like a cozy afternoon reading. It is just the best feeling in the world. But my favorite thing about reading is the pure escape. So I can just lose myself in the story, lose myself in the characters and kind of work through their emotions and their feelings rather than having to deal with what's going on in my own life. Because I just find that that gives me the space for things to percolate through and that then I can deal with things a little bit better myself. It's like the ultimate self-care for me, just the escape, the journey, like 
the tea, the snacks, the candles, everything is just perfect. It really is my favourite way to switch off and just take a break and enjoy the day. Originally I wanted to make this video about my favourite book, which is Pride and Prejudice. I first read Pride and Prejudice as a school book when I was 13 and I just fell in love with it. I read it pretty much every single year, which means I've read it at least 27 times. Um, but I love it, like sometimes I actually feel like I'm stalking the Bennett family but um, it's just so much fun and it's so interesting and I love how Jane Austen just, you know, characterises people, it's, it's wonderful. But then I realised that it's not just the book that I love, it's the act of reading and that is my favourite part of books is the sitting down, getting to know the characters, falling in love with them, hating them being frantic when you're getting close to the end and you really want to finish the book but then you're also trying to draw it out as long as you can because you don't want the book to end. Or another favourite book of mine, well it's actually a series, is the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan which I love but I've sworn since I started reading that that I will never start reading another series until the author has it finished because unfortunately poor Robert Jordan passed away while writing it and it was finished by Brandon Sanderson which he did an amazing job, but it's not the same. Sorry, Brandon. I've also recently invested in a Kindle, which I'm trying so, so hard to love. Like, I am really trying. But it's not the same. It's just not the same. I miss a physical book so much. So, you know, that musty, familiar smell of an old book that you've read millions of times. Or that acrid, inky smell on a new print book that you've just bought the feel of the pages under your fingers as you're turning the page, the fear of breaking the spine on the book and just the solidness, the weight of it in your lap as you read. It, it's all part of the experience for me. And as much as I love my Kindle for traveling or for throwing in my bag to go somewhere, it's never going to replace a book for me. Plus I have this really awful habit of flicking forward in a book and just reading random pages or the back page. And you can't do that in a Kindle. Like you just can't flick through. So yeah, that's something else that I, I'm not a fan of with the Kindle. I wonder if Amazon could fix that. That would be cool. So all this month I've been experimenting with self-care, trying out different things, seeing what works for me, seeing what doesn't work for me. And one of my tasks this month was to actually take time to sit down and read. And I remembered that I need to take more time to do this, that for me, it's something that just works, that it just feels good, that I enjoy it, that I feel rejuvenated after it. It relieves stress, it relieves tension, it just, it does everything that you need self-care to do. However, given that most of the books I read are in the crime, thriller, horror genre, I am trying to make an effort to move into more positive reading, so something a bit less stabby. Because, you know, our content that we consume affects our mood, it affects our reality. So, yeah, a little bit less stabby might be nice. Less guns more fun. That's something I'm going to try and do this year. Thank you for joining me for today's ramblings. I really appreciate it. Go make yourself a fresh cup of tea because, you know, everyone always needs a second cup. And go check out this video here. YouTube thinks you're going to like it, so I highly recommend go watching it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!